All right, I know a lot of you are already kind of familiar with who I am, what I'm about, what I've done. Maybe you've watched one of these sometime in the last decade. Uh, maybe you watched one of the last few episodes where I mentioned there being some cool, exciting news to share, and that is today. These are no longer going to be referred to as just video journals where some weird guy named Andy talks at length about stuff. They are now called podcasts, and they are in partnership with the Global Center for Advanced Studies. So introductions for my new people there. Uh, my name is Andy Bowen, and... Uh, I've studied philosophy for the better part of my life. Um, I graduated at the top of my class and continued to pursue philosophy and education. Um, I've started several successful businesses. Um, I am the owner of Above Alpine Photography and Video. I take photos of professional athletes. I am a sponsored athlete. Um, I've given a TED Talk. I speak to schools about passion and um, education and art. Um, blah, blah, blah. In all honesty, I'm not a huge fan of telling you why uh, uh, your ears deserve my time. Um, while I respect the out of anybody who's furthered their education and can introduce themselves as Dr. So-and-so with a bunch of credentials, I love that. I honor that. I totally think it's amazing. I just have a hard time with not earning your respect through my words and actions. So... Aside from what I've done, aside from who I am, um, I'm hoping to earn uh, this worthiness through through just being myself, through through proving my value um, through my thoughts and actions and my words. So, moving on, um, why do I even do these things? Why did I even get into video journaling, which is what this was in the beginning? Um, I found that journaling throughout my entire life was incredibly helpful for both my emotional health, my mental health, um, but also my ability to be open and willing to learn. Um, the strangest thing happened when I first did a video journal. I had this idea where I wasn't really sure about myself. I would find myself speaking to larger groups of people, um, a lot of times back in college where I was afterwards, I was, I was finding myself going, you know, I didn't really say that the way I wanted to, and I'm not sure if it will be interpreted correctly. Uh, I wonder if I even can buy my own brain vomit, right? So I started recording myself talking about things that I was deeply affected by or um, situations or problems arising in the world um, where I just was having a hard time collecting my thoughts around them. So I started doing these so that I could take a topic and and the same way I would write down my thoughts and how I felt about them, I would tell myself these things. And through that process, I discovered something really amazing. Um, and it taught me how to be a confident speaker. And it taught me how to take the things I know about and convey them the most effective way I can. So that's where these came from. Flash forward 10 years, 50 different versions of me later, I'm sitting before you now, trying to share what I believe in the most. Um, and since that's going to be primarily through the Global Center for Advanced Studies now, I'm really going to hit hard on education. I always have. And I'm really going to hit hard on philosophy. I always have. But it's going to be uh, amplified greatly by this incredible platform that I'm being given to speak from. Um, platforms opportunities. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do any name dropping just yet, but we have amazing famous people on our call sheet that uh, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to interview and talk to people about stuff that is going to provide an amazing conversation where all of us can grow together and move forward. We are on the cusp of incredible change right now, globally. No matter where you're at, you are probably thinking that your system of government or the elected officials or the people telling you what and what not to do is broken. Uh, almost every established system right now is incredibly old and it is housed by incredibly old people who have a different set of belief and a different different set of beliefs and a different understanding of the world. So without pointing at them and going, it's their fault, um, it is, but uh, they're also too close and they've been too close to the life they live. The world that they live in, is it, it's not ours, it's different. So that cusp of change that I'm talking about is coming A by default because these guys are old and the systems that they designed are broken and have broken down so bad that the, the demand for reform and the absolute need for reform is going to happen. So right now, you and I get to decide on what the future actually looks like. These conversations, the people that are courageous enough to speak up, to learn, to be open and willing 
to to make a positive change. This this is the, the most important time ever for us. Okay. So that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm so excited to be partnering with the Global Center for Advanced Studies. All right, so I had a hard time to, trying to decide what I was going to do for my intro episode for one of these. Um, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to be as general as I can and kind of pass over some stuff. And then it kind of just hit me that I just want to talk specifically about philosophy. Um, we're going to get into topics of all kinds, but if you know me at all, or you, or you found me on this platform, you're probably somewhat of a philosopher yourself. Um, so I might be preaching to the choir, but hopefully I'm just giving this conversation some amplification. So maybe a, a way that we all can move forward. And then when we speak about philosophy to people, they don't roll their eyes and think of some old, difficult white guy that thought really hard for his whole life. Philosophy is incredibly valuable for way more reasons than just studying different like continental or logic or pragmatism. I mean, yes, there's a lot of different forms of philosophy and they all have their values, but just the study of philosophy can enhance any other study that you're involved in or just general life stuff. Critical thinking, right? That's part of the school of philosophy. Critical thinking is everything. It's your ability to go through life in control of yourself, your thoughts, and maybe aid in helping the progress of the reality of things because critical thinkers tend to see stuff multifacetedly, right? They have an infinite amount of perspectives, hopefully, that they can approach any given thing and then practice and play out and try and refocus and just keep on sorting through information until they've gotten to the most capital T true thing they can while knowing that the only thing that ever exists is little T truths, right? So philosophy is always life enhancing. It's always going to be, no matter what you're doing, better, right? It's going to better that thing. So for me, I was a melancholic artist, deep thinker that had I never found a bunch of other dudes or chicks that existed that wrote about this stuff, I would have felt pretty alone and lost. So to find that there was these people who were like, wait a minute, you don't have to do it that way. Exactly. There's so many different ways to view that. Or to find these people who, you know, like me, a weird example that I always like to go back to because I try to I try to remember the beginning of why I was weird and different. But it was things like I remember being um, in basketball. I think it was my seventh grade year. And I was just dumping half court shots. Right. I mean, put the ball in the hoop. Basketball. Got it. Um, and I've kind of always been athletically inclined. So I could do some cool stuff like make half court shots in middle school. I was kind of kicked, I was kicked off the A team, put on the C team because of that. And I remember thinking to myself, why? This is the most simple thing ever. You get that ball in the basket, right? And then, you know, I get being a team player and I get all the other stuff my coaches were trying to tell me, but they limited the game that I was playing to just the way they wanted it played, right? And from that point forward, that way, the way I looked at stuff was kind of that coach's fault, right? If I, if I was supposed to be a conforming student or whatever, that person had an opportunity to help me conform and they, they missed it. Uh, all it did was make me go, ew, I don't want to do any of those things. Uh, I don't want to be told that it's this way when I know for certain there's a billion different ways to look at this thing. That's just a, it's a simple kind of out of there, out of the box example, but it, it's what let me know that I don't fit in the box. A lot of people don't fit in the box. And if you haven't given philosophy a chance yet and you feel like that scenario is something that rings inside you or resonates or vibes or whatever, and you haven't really dived into philosophy, do it. Um, what it does for your ability to effectively communicate, what it does for your ability to understand your emotions and where they come from and how you self-govern versus how you let other people govern how you feel and the way you think. It lets you be the in control of those things and it lets you make progress moving forward um, that's that's really individualized and you believe in yourself so philosophy is going to be both important and necessary moving into the future you know we've got ai on its way we've got uh pro-profit colleges that are getting they're going to fail um, you know, it wasn't just COVID that was starting to take out businesses like that. Uh, it was on its way. The debt is insane. The fact that 70% of, or more of student fees are being absorbed by administration, you know, where kids are then shackled with debt 
for the rest of their lives, never to actually get a leg up on anything because they tried to better themselves by going to school. All that stuff's going to change. It is. GCAS, the reason I'm partnered with them is because we together believe that we can reinvent education and that we can make it better and that we can refocus how we go about it. So that wasn't quite as, uh, I was trying to be like super stay on the subject and I kept going all over the place, but I think that gives you guys a general idea about me, what I kind of do, uh, why I believe in education philosophy and definitely the Global Center for Advanced Studies, how excited I am to be speaking from that platform, uh, the opportunities I'm going to have to speak to incredibly amazing people from just uh, the world's most elite thinkers to actors to poets to musicians. I just, I can't wait. Um, it's going to be a really exciting journey. Uh, if you would like to know a little bit more about GCAS, um, you can find anything on my page or you can go to gcas.ie. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about me, uh, you can find me on Facebook. You can just Google my name. You can check out YouTube. Um, yeah. Also, if you want to talk about anything ever, the whole point of why I started sharing my video journals back in the day, kind of forgot to mention that part, was because I was excited about the conversation that it produced. I was excited that the things I was saying would vibe with people. They would, they would resonate with someone and how they were feeling or thinking. And it would oftentimes start a conversation that otherwise would have never happened. So I encourage you to reach out to me anything you want to talk about or if you think maybe that one of these would be served better by considering an idea you have. I agree. I want you to tell me about it and I want to open that conversation up. Uh, there may be an opportunity for you to be interviewed on one of these. Um, so please connect with me either wherever this is being shown to you underneath. If there's a, a, a comment or uh, if you want to send me a direct message somewhere, please do. Um, I think I'm going to end it there. The next episode will be, uh, we'll kind of pick a specific topic. And of course, it'll be tangential and we'll be all over the place. Um, but it'll be a little more focused than this introduction video. So thank you guys. I'm really excited about the future of these. I'm really excited to have you here. I'm really excited to learn and educate. And I'm really excited to learn from you and get educated by you. Um, let's do this. All right. I hope you're doing well, staying safe. This year's crazy. I know COVID's wild. I know the collapse of a lot of financial systems is wild. I know running out of water is crazy. I know concentration camps in China are crazy. I know that pedophile rings that have existed forever are crazy. I promise you we're going to talk about all that stuff. But for now, this is where we're at. So stay tuned. We're going to get to all that stuff and, um, and stay safe. But I'm not worrying. You know why? Why? why?